city girl Beware of this heart of gold This heart is cold Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 James Bond theme songs. Skyfall is where we start. For this list, we'll be ranking the most memorable or dynamic songs that were featured in a James Bond film. We'll be featuring both main title themes as well as closing themes for this list and be considering both official and non-canonical Bond films. What's your all-time James Bond jam? Let us know in the comments. Number 20, Diamonds Are Forever by Shirley Bassey. Diamonds Are Forever. Welsh singer Shirley Bassey is the grand dame of James Bond theme songs. She's responsible for singing three of them, including this slinky, sexy, and slightly funky theme to 1971's Diamonds Are Forever. Diamonds are forever. They are all I need to please me. The song opens up with a cool and atmospheric melody as Bassey leads in, before the drums pick up and Diamonds Are Forever establishes the vibe as pure 1970s awesomeness. The lyrics by Don Black speak of how men may come and go, but the sparkling beauty of wealth is what the singer truly desires. Diamonds are forever Hold one up and then caress it Touch it Bassey is captivating and in charge with her vocal, while John Barry's arrangements make this a prime era Bond theme to end the official Sean Connery Eon era as 007. Number 19, The Living Daylights by AHA, The Living Daylights. Our next entry offers proof that Norwegian pop stars AHA were a notable act way beyond their mega hit Take On Me. Their theme to 1987's The Living Daylights was an outstanding way to introduce Timothy Dalton as the new James Bond, a bright and energetic tune that synthesized and 80s sounding in the best way possible. AHA frontman Morton Harkett has always been recognized for his powerful falsetto and remarkable range, and he makes the most of that here, moving from brooding low notes to captivating highs at a moment's notice. Plus, AHA largely wrote The Living Daylights themselves, although frequent Bond composer John Barry received a songwriting credit. Number 18, Die Another Day by Madonna, Die Another Day. Not every Bond theme is a grand, sweeping orchestral epic. Sometimes the decision is influenced either by prevailing trends of the day or a collaboration with a popular, well-known artist. Die Another Day is both of these things, an electronica-influenced dance track performed and co-written by the legendary Madonna. I'm gonna wake up, yes and no, I'm gonna kiss some part of, I'm gonna keep this secret. The material girl has defined her career by refusing to stand still creatively, and Die Another Day exemplifies this by being defiantly anti-traditional. Although respected French composer Michel Colombier was responsible for the lion's share of composing duties, Madonna's tweaks and vocal performance made this song her own, although critics continue to be divided on whether or not she was ultimately successful. Number 17, You Only Live Twice by Nancy Sinatra. You Only Live Twice. There have been multiple instances of singers sweating bullets prior to taking on a Bond theme. Nancy Sinatra reportedly had the jitters prior to her studio sessions and had to do multiple takes in order for producer John Barry to piece together the complete song. You only live twice or so. 
This isn't to say that the end results do Sinatra a disservice, however, as the singer sounds confident and sweet as she sings over Barry's lush and gorgeous arrangements. Make one dream come true, you only live twice. The fuzz guitar is a particularly nice touch, while those sweeping strings at the beginning were famously sampled by Robbie Williams for his hit Millennium. <laughs> Number 16. The Man with the Golden Gun by Lulu The Man with the Golden Gun The love life of 007 has been well documented and even parodied, and this fun Bond theme from 1974 showcases just how risque the series could get with its love of double entendre. He has a powerful weapon, he charges a million a shot, an assassin that's second to none, the man with the golden gun. The Man with the Golden Gun was sung by Scottish singer Lulu and featured words by legendary Bond lyricist Don Black. It's definitely one of the more suggestive theme songs with lines like, who will he bang? Meanwhile, John Barry's music is guitar heavy, fun and funky, while Lulu's vocal chirps along with a cheekiness that's infectious. It's short, sweet, and never overstays its welcome. The Man with the Golden Gun does indeed get it done. No one can catch him, no hitman can match him, for his mid-dollar skill. Number 15. Tomorrow Never Dies by Sheryl Crow Tomorrow Never Dies A different version of this film's theme song had already been recorded by K.D. Lang by the time Sheryl Crow had been brought on to perform this underrated Bond theme. Tomorrow Never Dies harkens back to the classic melodies of 60s Bond films, with a moody opening that's pure cloak and dagger espionage and intrigue. Darling, I'm killed. I'm in a puddle on the floor, waiting for you to return. This vibe is made all the more successful thanks to Crow's vocals, which are at once smoky, sultry, and powerful. The chorus is really where Crow strains to hit the high notes, to the point where we can almost feel her in the studio belting it out. It's amazing stuff. Number 14. Writings on the Wall by Sam Smith Spectre The James Bond franchise was knee-deep in classic, iconic themes by the time 2015 Spectre rolled around. Skeptics wondered, what more could the series offer in terms of quality? What sort of surprises? And then, boom. Writings on the wall hit and Sam Smith proved that Bond themes could still burn up the charts. If I risk it all, could you break and fall? The track was the first to hit number one on the UK singles chart, and we can totally see why because this is pure, over-the-top Bond bombast. Smith's fragile, emotional falsetto gets us teary-eyed every time, while the amazing orchestral accompaniment just adds to the goosebumps. Sure, Radiohead's rejected theme for Spectre was also awesome, but we just can't see this film opening any other way. <laughs> Number 13, For Your Eyes Only by Sheena Easton. For Your Eyes Only. Sheena Easton was hot property in 1981, and this was a deciding factor for execs at United Artists, pushing for her inclusion on the soundtrack for For Your Eyes Only. For your eyes only can see me through the night. For your eyes only, I never need to hide. This was ultimately a smart move, as not only is Easton great on the song, she's the only performer to actually appear in an opening Bond sequence. The song itself is synthesizer heavy and moody, with melodies that linger and ring out, while Easton's vocal possesses an almost ghostly beauty. The chorus brings a bit of welcome brightness to the arrangement, thanks to Rocky composer Bill Conti's smart songwriting. Make no mistake, however, this is the Sheena Easton show all the way, and For Your Eyes Only is all the better for it. Number 12. Nobody Does It Better by Carly Simon, The Spy Who Loved Me Worldwide chart success and crossover appeal hasn't followed every Bond theme over the years. 
Every once in a while, however, a particular entry just hits at the right time, and everyone seems to stand up and take notice. Nobody does it better. Makes me feel sad for the rest. 1977 was one of those years. Carly Simon was one of those singers, and Nobody Does It Better was one of those songs. This theme to The Spy Who Loved Me was a smash hit, and it tapped into the mellow, soft rock that was popular on commercial radio at the time. Baby, 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 you're the best. Simon just feels comfortable in her role as narrator, and her vocal is inviting and familiar, the sort of approachability that goes along with her confessional, singer-songwriter style. Nobody does it better, indeed. Number 11. License to Kill by Gladys Knight License to Kill The prototypically grandiose nature of Bond themes can be off-putting or stuffy-sounding to some music fans. For those people, we offer our next pick, Gladys Knight's soulful performance for the 1989 film License to Kill. The song was co-written by Narada Michael Walden, who produced numerous R&B, jazz, and pop records throughout the 1980s. As a result, the song possesses this slick production indicative of that decade. While Knight's soaring vocal is emotive and inviting, a true highlight from a career full of brilliant memories. You could call this one the Bond theme for people who don't like Bond themes, but we'll just call it absolutely awesome. Number 10. From Russia With Love by Matt Monroe From Russia With Love Conversely, our next entry is absolutely a Bond theme in the classic mold, an orchestral pop tune that could have only been composed during the 1960s. From Russia with love, I fly. Here you are, in case you ever need it again. At the same time, we'd also venture to call Matt Monroe's From Russia With Love something of an outlier, as it actually shows up only at the end of this second 007 outing. Good things come to those who wait, however, as Monroe's theme is pure nostalgia, a crooning tune that hinges on the English singer's amazing baritone. Trust us, if you dig classic Rat Pack cool, you'll be well advised to check out Matt Monroe's work, starting with this outstanding and underrated Bond theme. I suddenly knew Number 9. We Have All the Time in the World by Louis Armstrong On Her Majesty's Secret Service Our next entry is another theme that makes its presence known elsewhere than the usual opening title sequence. On Her Majesty's Secret Service featured an instrumental main theme from the John Barry Orchestra <laughs> But Louis Armstrong was also tapped to sing the sad and tragic ballad, We Have All the Time in the World. The song's emotional resonance comes from its usage as the love theme to 007 and Contessa Teresa Di Vincenzo, the future Mrs. James Bond who is inconceivably assassinated shortly after saying I do. The image of George Lazenby's Bond cradling Diana Riggs Tracy in his arms as Armstrong's tune plays is something we'll never forget. Number 8. The World Is Not Enough by Garbage The World Is Not Enough Don Black proved that he hadn't lost his creative edge when writing the lyrics for this Pierce Brosnan Bond entry from 1999. The song takes an approach directly from the film's plot, putting Garbage's Shirley Manson in the role of Bond love interest and antagonist Electra King. The World Is Not Enough also manages to be both modern and classic, as it takes the electro-rock vibe of garbage and tempers it with a classic Bond orchestration and grandeur. Manson, meanwhile, sings the song with an allure and eroticism born from King's romantic entanglement with Bond, as well as her chilling demise. The end result is a theme that stands the test of time as one of the franchise's absolute best. Number 7. You Know My Name by Chris Cornell, Casino Royale Casino Royale signified a new era for Bond. 
Gone were the gadgets and puns of old, and in its place was a gritty origin story with a brand new actor, Daniel Craig, taking over the role. If you take life, do you know what you As a result, the theme to Casino Royale is also something of a refresh, a theme steeped in modern rock tropes of the day and co-written by grunge pioneer Chris Cornell. Cornell's powerful voice seems tailor-made to sing a Bond theme, and the end results didn't disappoint the man's fans or Soundgarden devotees. It also helped turn a new generation of fans onto the rich cultural history of James Bond. Number 6. Skyfall by Adele Skyfall If You Know My Name by Chris Cornell and Another Way to Die by Jack White and Alicia Keys were thematic and compositional deviations from the typical James Bond formula, then Skyfall was a welcome return to form. This is the end Hold your breath and count to ten Feel the earth move and who better to hearken back to that classic Bondian nostalgia than Adele, the English singer whose massive voice is absolutely a modern day echo of that old school sound. The end results were arguably the best theme to ever appear in a Daniel Craig Bond film, which is all the more impressive seeing that Adele co-wrote the tune. Musically, it's pure pomp and mood. A giant sounding epic, fitting for 007 in the modern day. Number 5. Goldeneye by Tina Turner Goldeneye the theme to 1995's GoldenEye is perhaps the best U2 song not actually written for a U2 album. That's because the song was written by Bono and The Edge, produced by noted British engineer Nellie Hooper, and sung by none other than Tina freaking Turner. GoldenEye, no time for sweetness, but a bitter kiss will bring him to his knees. GoldenEye is chock full of brilliant dynamics, key changes, and a production to die for. There are clicks, string horns, just about everything but the kitchen sink, but it all works in amazing layers. And then there's Turner's vocal, which is gritty, harboring seemingly restrained anger as she sings lyrics from the perspective of GoldenEye's antagonist, Alec Trevelyan. Her soaring high note near the end of the song is just icing on the cake for this banger of a Bond theme. Revenge, it's a kiss, this time I Number 4. A View to a Kill by Duran Duran A View to a Kill It's likely that you're familiar with A View to a Kill even if you're not a Bond fan. That's because this was the only Bond theme to reach number 1 on the US Billboard Hot 100 chart, and with good reason, because Duran Duran kill it with this one. Meeting you with a view to a kill Face to face in secret places the band co-wrote the theme with John Barry, and it possesses all of their electric energy and sexy new wave style. It's a song that's steeped in 80s materialism and excess, full of synthesizers, rockin' guitar, funky bass, and Simon Le Bon's charismatic vocals. Seriously, once Le Bon shouts out, Can we, dance into the fire? we are here for it. Just like Duran Duran and Bond fans alike continue to be so many years later. Number 3. Thunderball by Tom Jones Thunderball Thunderball is widely regarded as a classic Bond theme, but it did put strain on singer Tom Jones. This world and once it all. So he strikes like 
In fact, legend has it that Jones passed out after hitting the stratospheric finale of Thunderball. And we believe it, as you can practically feel Jones' lungs and muscles straining as he sings. But the Welsh legend got it on tape, even telling NPR in 2003, quote, I closed my eyes and I held the note for so long. When I opened my eyes, the room was spinning. He will bring any heart without regret. Tom's sacrifice was ultimately the world's gain, as there are few Bond themes better or more closely aligned with the franchise than this one. Like Number 2. Live and Let Die by Wings Live and Let Die It doesn't matter if you dig this original 1973 Bond theme by Paul McCartney and Wings, or the equally killer cover by Guns N' Roses, there's no denying that Live and Let Die is an absolutely fantastic Bond theme. But if this ever-changing world in which we live in makes you Live and let die. Live and Let Die ties into the film's connections with the then booming black exploitation genre with a roaring funk jam. Rarely did Bond themes get this bombastic, with orchestrations that sound like cannons roaring, while the main riff is just the stuff of legend. <laughs> McCartney co-wrote the song with then-wife Linda, and the arrangements were done by none other than Beatles producer George Martin. So yeah, essentially this is a murderer's row of talent, and the end results are right there on display. It's an all-time high. You used to say little let live. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Goldfinger by Shirley Bassey Goldfinger What's the first song that comes to your mind when you think of James Bond themes? Okay, besides that iconic guitar line from Vic Flick. <laughs> are pretty good that Goldfinger is the one. The film and its kitschy main theme have become synonymous with 007 over the years, with its blaring horns and sassy vocals from Shirley Bassey. Goldfinger, he's the man, the man with the Midas touch, a spider's touch. It's sort of fitting that we both begin and end our list with Bassey, as her voice just encapsulates the sleek and sexy world of James Bond. Her booming vibrato hits a home run as this song enters its final third, and we just can't help but sing along as Bassey howls to the heavens. He loves only agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.